Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civ 4 Caveman to Cosmos, the first 12,000 years. We are working our way up to the 80s, and we have 2,500 years left to go. Things have been going pretty well. I think we're expanding pretty well. Uh, our score is better than all the uh, AI civilizations, so presumably we've expanded a little bit further, a little bit better. Um... But I've been thinking about it more and more, and I think we may have a shot at, at taking out Istanbul. I think there's the Turks may have another city over here, too. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but we really could go for some sort of nice, aggressive move here. Um, I think we have enough stability to do it. So, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to finish the current crop of buildings and things, but then I think I'm going to start building up a military. Now, unfortunately, I was looking at our tech tree. And I'm not really seeing another tech we could grab. Maybe Elephant Rider? We do have, um... We do have elephants. We also have bison. That's something we could pull off here. We need Elephant Trainer. Which we can build here. We need a herd of elephants. Or an elephant farm. Which we can do from here. You know, maybe I'll just pick this up and we'll go stomp them with a whole bunch of elephants. That might be fun. Um, we are almost done slash and burn. Why am I not seeing that? So I wanted to finish that. Oh, it's way down here. Yes, yeah, may as well finish that. What the heck? But then we're gonna go right for elephant riding. Um, and then uh, we'll build some some effluents and go and step all over people. There's also the equine domestication here, which would lead to, like, horsemen. But who wants to use horses when you can use elephants? I mean, come on! It's a million times cooler, right? That's what I thought. So I've totally changed my plans from last time, but the more I was thinking about it, the more I thought, ah, we could probably have some sort of really exciting conclusion to all this. Um... I think we're going to be okay with just the one slinger here. I accidentally clicked and moved this guy out, but I think we're going to move him to the front and that'll be okay. We've got enough units here to sort of sweep in. A little bit of scrubland, which does not do damage, but jungle does. Or, uh, desert does. Cool. So we can scooch around this edge here and hit Istanbul. It's probably got a de decent amount of um, sort of just cultural city defense, so we're going to have to bring a lot of units. The elephants will help. Most advanced civilization, Marty the Glorious! Ah, yes, I'm awesome. I am so good at this game. Pa Paka Pachakuri has died in combat? What? I don't know who that was. Some great person? I don't know. Shaman's Hut is really good. You could actually definitely use the growth and the growth storage. Yeah, we're going to give you that. You're not going to be building military. And he's been spotted near a cod. Well, not really. Okay, the elephant riding is actually going to come pretty quick. Considering the time scale, like, this number of turns is nothing. It's inconsequential. Ivory, ivory, yay, yay, yay. And we've got a camp on this, right? Yeah. Good. Cow farm. Works begin on a slaughterhouse. Okay. In Nibine. Oh, right over here. Oh, I had a bunch of stuff queued up, apparently. Slaughterhouse finished. Oh, okay. Multiple things per turn. That's good. Um, yeah, you can finish the stone huts, too. It'll help with production, which we will want. I'm not sure we're going to be, be able to build elephants everywhere, actually. It may just be out of um, Arbol over here. Uh, you can just fortify for now. I'm going to send a stack over there just to poke around and annoy him. We can probably... Even if we don't attack the city proper, we could probably be pretty well defended. Um, let's do that. It's a pretty big stack of units. Let's get something done with them, shall we? Shall we? Mm-hmm. By the way, uh, just in case it wasn't clear, um, 
I'm completing all these videos before posting the first one, so if you made comments on a previous part and you're wondering why I haven't like acknowledged it, maybe I've missed something completely obvious, and you're like, I told you this three episodes ago, it's because I'm recording everything ahead of time, so that's that. Uh, one turned elephant riding. Butchery is good, plus three food is a lot. Um, but do we just want to start pumping out units? <laughs> a little extra XP there. It's not much though, so I'm not too worried. Like, hammers are good. Lots of these things are really, really quite good. Um, I think I'm going to put out an axeman though. Getting close. Alright, elephant riding. Done. Uh, I may reset my queue to what I had before, which is towards riding, so we could conceivably look at the um, at the diplomacy. But it was a really far queue. Short term, I think the agriculture, um, pottery, apiculture, orchards. I think we're going to want that. So I'll just queue that up for now, and we may continue down the same track we were going before. But hmm. He's provisional authority too, so he's actually changed his civics. Oh, random rogue attack. Um, or no, not a rogue attack. That is someone with a dog. We defended that. Oh, he's attacking a lot. We should actually be okay though, because we're on forest here. Another hunter. That worked out pretty well. And this is a forest right next to your city? Really? Arbel can no longer work on bison trainer. What? Damn it. Hmm. I wonder if he'll just keep attacking me if I park here. I would like to park right next to a city. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here for now. You know what? Just to be annoying, I'm going to claim this territory. So, you can't complete that bison trainer. Now you're going to dog breeder for some reason. No, you, of all places, should be switching over to some sort of elephant thing. So there's no elephant herd, but what about an elephant farm? Where would that be? Because we should be able to build that. We've got ivory. Oh, here we are. Probably the thing that looks like an elephant. <clears throat> Good. Start with that. Um, you can cancel that dog breeder. Excellent. Okay, split this stack up is the problem. Okay, select all of these. Deselect one. There we go. Most of you fortify. And... No, you can't actually steal the thing. Alright, pillage. Fun times. All right. Um, go. Oh, good. You are attacking me. Wonderful. I actually should have moved onto the uh, forested hill. Would have been even better. Unless it persuaded him not to attack, which would be annoying and bad. Um, yeah, let's put out a few more axemen. We'll move you up to the front. Oh, I did claim that territory. Loverly. You guys just keep attacking me. Um, can hurry an elephant farm. How many turns would it take? 13 turns. And we probably grow right back to three. But growth is so valuable. I don't know, we're kind of at, we're kind of doing the battle now. You know what? I will sacrifice population to complete my elephant farm. Why not? And then Elephant Trainer, which we have enough overflow to finish you really fast. And we had a little bit too much overflow and converted it to gold, but that's not the end of the world. Alright, let's take you. 63% is not great, but good. How are odds worse for the second guy? I guess we don't have as good of a person. We'll do it anyway. Lost one unit, but now we can actually see what he's got in here. 60% defense is actually pretty darn scary. We're gonna need a lot of troops. 
Uh, you're probably dead. Because you were pretty hurt, I think. Yep. Elephant Rider. Yes. Bonus to city attack, too? Oh my god, that's amazing. Starts with commando. Alright, elephants are going to be great. Um, yeah, you can build this random little storage pit. And you guys will just fortify here. <clears throat> Except for one guy. Who can... Oh, you can't claim. Alright, you pillage that. Did a little bit of pillaging. Got some money out of it. Not that I really need the money, but... It's fine. I can pillage some more. Part cat. Part cat. Cart path! Ah... Uh, it's too early in the morning. I haven't had enough caffeine. Oh... It's a Saturday morning. What am I doing awake on a Saturday? I mean, it's 11.42. It's late enough, actually. I've been watching StarCraft all day. I've been playing a few games. Yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna mass queue up a whole bunch. There we go. It's not that's not a ton, but it's it's some. Yeah, we're gonna give you City Raider in preparation for what's gonna come. Just degroup you guys. We are gonna need a lot more units. You've gotta finish your Chief's Hut, buddy. Farmers, pray that your summers be wet and your winters... Obsolete's a lot of buildings, but gives us a proper farm, uh, which is going to be good for our workers. Ooh. It's probably worth it, even though it's kind of a shitty time to go into anarchy. Um, oh, this slows down our growth, the one we've already got with tribal. This would give us more rebelliousness. But, it doesn't slow down our growth. In fact, it gives us quite a bit more food from farming, which is good. And more XP for new units, which seems relevant. And... So as long as we can keep the rebellion under control. Agriculture. Yeah, so all these things are going to make our cities grow a lot faster. So that's good. Six turns of revolution. Well, what can you do? Um, no, you're just going to keep building lots of elephant riders. Since you're the only person who can do it, that is the wrong. Click, 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 click. The first one's kicked in. Very nice. We'll get you to meet up over here with the Axeman. Still not much in the way of speed. And, right, you guys. We're gonna cancel all the units. Probably need more workers. So you should be able to build a farm here. Yeah. Defenses from the city based on both damage or units. Oh, they've got like, yeah, they've got that thing going on. Good God, we're gonna need a lot of units. Um. All right, we'll pull back. We're gonna need so much stuff. We need siege weapons. Actually, you know what? I don't think we're gonna be able to crack that. I think I'm gonna waste way too much energy doing that. Way too much energy. 60% defenses. I'm gonna lose, and he's got he's got like five or six troops in there. I'm gonna need at least a dozen, if not more. Hmm. The elephants will help, though. When can we get any kind of siege? Oh, wait, we do can, we can build siege. What am I thinking of? Um, these, um, these weird units. Like hand rams and stuff, where are they? There they are. You can bombard. Yeah. Not much. We'll need a whole lot of you, but you can do it. Okay. 
All right, war's back on. Yeah, just sit tight here. Let them attack me and waste their units. AI not very smart. Ooh, that's a lot of units they just moved out to the city, actually. No, he's not going to continue. Plus four food. Yeah, that is very, very useful. Right now, it's just a grassland. Our growth can explode, basically, because we're taking off a huge penalty from our farming from a variety of sources and just increasing our food overall. It's going to be pretty good. We'll probably move this guy up, too. Where are you going? Um, no, I think I want you guys moving out together. Oh, there's more people here. I don't have to worry about Neanderthals anymore. I mean, there could be barbarians, but... Orangutan? I don't think he's going to come and hit my worker, though. I don't think they come into our borders. Not the animals, anyway. Oh, truffles! Uh, it's out of range of my city, which is a shame. Okay, you guys. Move up to here. I know we can hurry units again, but I don't think I want to. I don't want to overdo it. Um, yeah, no. <clears throat> I did it that one time, and I think that was good, but that's all I want to do. I don't want to overdo it. You fortify. Uh, you can build that for footage. And you over here. I've got to be on guard. I'm gonna wait here. If he wants to come at me in the scrubland, then I can engage, but... No. And I don't want to move on to the scrubland and open myself up to an attack. Although, my elephants are way stronger. What am I afraid of, actually? Should be fine. The elephants, and okay, elephants don't get a defensive bonus, so I guess it doesn't matter here, but it'll just be basically strength 3 plus combat. Yeah, I should be okay. Okay, that's fine. Definitely gonna have to move you out together because I don't think your defenses are that great. We might end up putting a little bit of a rush on the hand rams. Just at the very end. Okay. We can take the city, it's gonna be pretty nice. Hopefully it'll be worth the cost. And hopefully we won't get a rebellion. We still have to move our palace at some point. Um, probably to Arbel. Maybe a Cod, actually. I don't remember if I figured it out or talked about it. Uh, no, just go here for now. Same for you. Fortify. What time is it? Or what year is it? 2160 now. Okay. That's good. We want to make sure we've got enough time to actually take over the city. Pottery. Cottages. Yeah, those will be good going forward. I don't blame you for wanting more workers. I think we actually do want many, many, many more workers. Is it time for them yet? Probably. 
you built three hand rams, and a cod is still going to try. Actually, cod builds him too slow. And DQ you. I'll, I'll put a couple more in front here. Yeah, you build a lot faster. I shouldn't have tried to build anything military in a cod, actually. And DQ that one. And you come down here. There's a bigger travel distance, but. Okay, random attacks that aren't going to do anything anymore. This is so good. So good for me. Istanbul is size 8 now. It's growing like a weed. But I think they did just go through a period of anarchy. They've probably picked up some of these, like, growth related um, civics. Okay, fortify, walk out with a nice big army over here, make sure to protect all of the hand rams. There's one. We are, our uh, income is going down considerably as we add more military units. Ah! Randomly lose a farm to locusts. Damn it! Hope that's not like a biblical sign. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and hook that right back up. Yes, keep wasting your units on me. Excellent. Turks are way down here. It's still in provisional government, really. Surprises me. Okay, build the farm. Got a lot of animals that we could probably go and hunt down. Um, another worker is fine by me. So I think you've got Slash and Burn, so we should be able to burn down this jungle and then build something proper on it. We could still build a jungle camp, but I think farms are going to be better than jungle camps going forward. Oh, look at you. Actually, they are going to be really good against mounted units, which my elephants probably count as. Can use enemy roads. Doesn't specifically say anywhere if they're mounted, but I'm sure. Like, I'm sure that's got to be a trait. They actually get a bonus versus mounted. Huh. Um. Next turn. We're defending this city. Couple of slingers. Okay, that'll be fine. Putter's hut is not a priority here, since it doesn't actually give us most anything in the way of growth. Growth. Uh, Carpenter's Workshop is probably a good idea. That might be better. Carpenter's Workshop helps our, our production earlier on. How many hammers are we producing? 11. So basically it's going to be plus one hammer now and just get better and better and better. Uh, that'll be fine. It's a good investment we wanted at some point. Okay, just come around that way. What are you going to do? You're pretty hurt. Are you just going to stand there? No, you guys are continuing to advance. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to put out another, um, another stone axeman. Just to have some more people in back. Okay, good. You're done. And you probably need some help. You know what? I'm going to build a frontier outpost here just to give us a vision across the way, maybe. It may be helpful. Random healer. Uh, we'd have to cross the desert to get to him. potentially be annoying. How do I stop you? Ooh, the slinger out would have some hills defense. Not that I can reach the hill quite yet. So I can pull back from one of these stone axemen and see if I can get to him. I suppose I should have responded a little sooner, but... 
Remove jungle. So jungle camp would give me plus one food, plus one hammer, plus one gold. The farm would give me plus five food. Um, in which case, I've got a... Wow, you can get a lot of extra hammers, too, once it's, you've got roads and stuff on these camps. That is a tough decision. Food tends to be really, really good. Growth f sort of causes everything to function. Especially, aren't we in slavery right now? Yeah, we can't have slaves. So, the extra, like, two food, which is what you need for a population, translates to an extra slave. So that's an extra hammer, so... I think growth is best. At least early on here still. We'll, we'll build one more farm. I, could go, I can make an argument for both sides, though. Um, of course, Nivene is not going to get much in the way of farms because it's got no fresh water. So it's going to be like jungle camp heaven. Uh, we can't actually, can't actually do anything with regular force, which is really kind of dumb. Do you have stuff here? Yep. 